Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be sharing how I make the most easiest fuss-free hot cross buns. They are super, super simple, and obviously with Easter coming up, this is the perfect time to turn your hand and try a little bit of different baking. So I'm just gonna jump straight on into this recipe and get started to show you how easy it is. So what I have got in here is I have got 500 grams of strong bread flour. This is a white bread flour, and I've also got a couple of grinds of salt in here as well. I always think people think hot cross buns are really bad for you because they've got loads and loads of sugar. But I have just got 50 grams of sugar here and this is going to make eight hot cross buns. So it's not too bad, I feel. So what you want to do is just add your sugar into your flour and then I have also got some mixed spices here. So you want to add in two teaspoons of your mixed spices. You definitely do not want to miss this ingredient out because this just adds so much flavor and deliciousness to your hot cross buns. I do heap teaspoons. Right, then you just want to mix all your dry ingredients together and then you want to go ahead and add in some butter. So I've just got some room temperature butter here. I've got 50 grams and I've just cubed up a little bit. Once you've added your butter in, you just want to go in with your fingers and try and make it into a bit of a crumble. Already this mixture just smells unbelievable. Okay, so now my butter is nicely incorporated into my flour. So what I have just done, I have got 200 mils of semi-skim milk here and I've just warmed it on the hob. I've warmed it enough so it's not like boiling. You want to be able to be able to touch it without it burning you. So I've done that and then I have got two eggs. I always crack them into a glass because quite often I get shell in my eggs once I've cracked them. So I pop them into the glass to make sure no shell is there. I'm just going to whisk them together. This is why you don't want your milk too hot because otherwise you're gonna to start to scramble your eggs. So you want to whisk your eggs together and then you want to pop your eggs into your milk. Once your eggs and your milk have combined nicely, it looks a little bit like custard, you then want to pour that mixture into your flour. And then what I have got here is I have got some dried fruit. So I'm gonna tell you what's in here. This is just a Waitrose mixed fruit bag and I have got sultanas, currants, raisins, orange peel, lemon peel. I've got so many things in here and this is just going to add so much flavor to your hot cross buns. So these are gonna go in now as well. And then I have got this seven gram sachet of yeast. This is fast action dried yeast and it comes in a packet like this. You get eight little sachets in your packet. So this is one of the sachets. They're really great. I use these all the time when I make my bread. So they're just really good to have in your cupboard. So I'm just gonna open one of these sachets and I'm going to add that into my mixture as well. Right, I'm then just going to start combining. So I always start combining with a fork and then I like to get my hands into it to make sure everything is really mixed together well. But at the beginning, I find a fork a really good way to get my mixture to kind of start off. Right, I'm gonna get my hands in now. Look at that lovely piece of dough that is just delicious. So what I'm gonna do is just give this five minutes to rest in here, which is just enough time to let me wash my hands and get my surface ready to start forming my buns. Five minutes is up, so I have just got myself some plain flour here and I'm just going to flour down my surface so that I can roll my dough out onto here without it sticking to the surface. I'm going to get my lovely piece of dough and I'm just going to give it a little knead on the surface on the flour, like I said, so it doesn't get stuck onto my worktop. I am covered in flour myself. <laughs> Probably not the best color to wear when I'm working with white flour. Okay, so now we've made a nice little ball of dough like this, we're then ready to split it into eight sections. Like I said, this amount of dough makes a lovely eight portion hot cross bun. You don't wanna make them too small. You don't wanna make them too big. You just wanna make them perfect. So I'm just cutting my dough in half then I'm cutting each half in half again, and then each quarter in half again. Once you've got nice eight even pieces, I just like to give each one a little knead again, and then I'm gonna form it into my hot cross bun shape. Perfect. I'm gonna just pop it onto my grease proof mat, and then go to the next one. Right, your buns are formed and they are now just ready to proof. So the minimum amount of time you want to leave these to proof is 45 minutes. If you can leave them for an hour and a half, that is perfect, but whatever you can do really. I like to leave them for a good hour and a half, so I make these up first thing in the morning and then I just leave them 
on the side while I get on with some chores around the house. I've got myself a tea towel here, so I'm just going to put this over to trap any warmth that comes off of these buns. But if you have some cling film, this works just as well, but this way you help the environment. Okay, so an hour and a half is gone and I want to show you how good these buns are looking. Look at those, they have risen really, really nicely. And now what we're going to do is glaze them before putting on our crosses. So I am glazing them a little bit differently today. The usual glaze that you would put on would be a mixture of three tablespoons of flour and also some golden syrup. But today, I bought this from the shops. This is Dolce de Leche, this is an Argentinian um, sweet kind of thing that they put on there, or they put on actually on anything. Our friend is Argentinian, he literally puts this on everything. So today I'm going to be glazing my hot cross buns with this Dolce de Leche. So I've just got some here in this um, bowl, and then I have got one of those little glazing um, paintbrush type things. So I'm just literally, these are gonna be amazing, going to generously paint this glaze onto the tops and sides of all of my buns. Honestly, guys, if you could smell these, these are before they go in the oven, they just smell incredible. These are gonna be delish, 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 delish. Right, I have generously glazed my buns with some Dolce de Leche now. Oh my gosh, these are looking incredible. They are gonna be absolutely delicious. So what I have also got here is in a piping bag, I've made up some icing sugar. So this is obviously going to be your cross shape. But firstly, what I'm gonna do before I pipe that on is I'm just going to make little cross shapes in all of my buns, just to kind of like make a little like indentation. You don't have to cut into it at all. It just kind of like pushes the dough down a little bit. And now what I'm gonna do with my icing sugar, I'm literally just gonna pipe it all over into cross shapes on top of my buns. Your buns are ready to go into the oven, so we're gonna put them on at 200 degrees centigrade for 12 minutes, and they're going to come out absolutely amazing. Oh my gosh, look at those. <gasps> they smell amazing. Oh my goodness, guys, these look and smell absolutely amazing. I'm gonna literally give them two minutes to cool down and then I'm gonna cut them in half, smother them with butter and enjoy. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you give this hot cross bun recipe a try and let me know also if you prefer it with Dolce de Leche or the more traditional way. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.